I believe that big strides are about to take place in our quality of consciousness. I believe we're going to grow a lot over the next decade. Now that's for several reasons. One of those reasons is that the physicists are getting more and more positive toward this reality being a virtual reality. That's been growing immensely over the last decade because it is the only viewpoint that really answers the experimental results. So virtual reality is a better explainer of the facts. So that is going to continue to grow. And as that grows, I think that in the near future, again, in the next decade, we are going to see the physicists come to the conclusion that our reality is indeed a virtual reality. Now, when that happens, that carries along some logical consequences. One of those logical consequences is, if this is a virtual reality, then it has to be computed, created, manufactured someplace else. A virtual reality cannot compute itself. The computer has to be outside of the virtual reality that it computes. That leads us to the conclusion that if this is a virtual reality, then we, our bodies, our avatars, and this virtual reality is created in a space that is non-physical to us and a superset of us. In other words, this reality is a subset or a, a part of something that is more fundamental and that is non-physical. Well, that's a big step to take philosophically and scientifically. I have done some experiments that will help provide evidence for this big step, for this conclusion, that will help scientists come to that conclusion because if these experiments work out the way that I have predicted, there will be no other conclusion that's rational except that this is a virtual reality. Well, when that happens, it's going to be a worldwide event and because we have the internet, this information will travel far and wide very quickly. We now all live on internet time, which means things happen socially, intellectually, sociologically, much more quickly than what they used to. So in a decade, we could find ourselves with a whole new understanding of the nature of our reality. All the answers to the big questions will be answered. Why are we here? What's our purpose? What's the point? What sort of reality is this? What's the significance? What should we be doing here? What's important and what's not? Where does morality come from? What is the fundamental difference between good and evil? All the big questions that people have struggled with for years will then have solutions. And it is likely that we will soon be living in a kinder, more gentler world that is more productive and more caring.